Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, messages for Pisces. Okay, so we have walking away, change is coming, and love. Okay, so you may be leaving one situation and there may be a new situation coming in. All right. Ask for guidance, universe, angels, spirits, and guides. Please give me guidance for this reading. All right, so we have Hierophant, there you are, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, there's a walking away, Page of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, you guys are definitely, something is ending, and you have new love coming in. It might be a Taurus or a Sagittarius, let's see. Yeah, there could have been a marriage or relationship that has you have uh, left or broken up. Maybe you have already done this for some of you. Five of Swords, yeah, this is the best thing you could have done. That's like winning. So by walking away from a negative relationship, you have new love coming in, moon. So it's someone that you probably don't know. That is your energy, but again, it tells me that. Let's do one more. You may not know this person or have met them yet. Yeah, it could be a soulmate. Wow, it's going to be a very strong connection with the moon there. What is the Eight of Cups? Okay, so either, probably this is your match. You walked away from something. You're going towards another, uh, either water sign or someone who has very deep love for you. What is the temperance card? Feeling bound, not seeing this person. What is the Eight of Swords? Moving on. So maybe this is mental. Mentally have not moved on from this past situation. So it may be taking longer for it to come in. What is the Page of Swords? Seven of Swords, okay. You may be spying on someone or someone is still, you may still be talking to someone or someone is still energetically, you know, you're still hooked to them, you're still thinking about them. What is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, definitely could be. I'm just okay, So you have love here that's coming in. It's probably not here yet for a lot of you just because you still are thinking about this past person, what they did. What is the Four of Wands? What is the Four of Wands? Eight of Coin could be through work. Oops, magician. So maybe you are not manifesting this in, but you could be. Nine of Cups. I think magician might need to be reversed. Maybe you're just, that is probably what's slowing it down because you are focused more on the past, what this person did, instead of the future being happy, your wish fulfilled. It could be in, uh, it could be where you work with the Four of Wands. I'm sorry, it could be where you live with the Four of Wands, or it could be at your work. It may happen, obviously, with some type of work function, something you guys may do after hours. Um, sometimes a get together, obviously not right now, probably for most of you, but yeah, you have love here. It's just a matter of letting pa the past go. It's the thoughts. It's the thoughts of like what this person did, how they broke your heart, um, if they, you know, cheated or lied. What do we need to know about the tower with this past person? Six of coins. What is the six of coins? Five of cups. One more, two swords. Yeah, you're getting pennies. And you know, at six of coins, you don't even realize how little you were getting from this relationship with the six of coins and five of cups. When you could be having the ten of coins here. So much more, so much with this new person coming in. Who is this king of cups? Who is this king of cups? An offer. Yeah, it's a new love offer. Something again with the Four of Cups, the cup coming down from the sky that you do not see. Something brand new, that's the Ace of Cups, because these are the three cups that you are uh, crying over here, and this is a brand new one. So for a lot of you, this is like right around the corner. This is probably already around you. You just need to, again, energetically let go of this past person and what they did, and I know it's difficult, easier said than done. What is the Three of Swords? What do we need to know? Anything else? There's communication some type of new beginning. It could also be that this person from the past still shows up, like you still talk to them or see them. Maybe they are even thinking about coming back into your life for a new start at the Ace of Swords. They may be even secretly heartbroken the person from the past and they're not letting you know. They definitely could be spying on you. They may want another chance with you, but again, and maybe that's what you're waiting for. Maybe you're waiting for them to come back and apologize or waiting for them to come back and want another chance so you can turn them down. But I feel like you have something brand new that you could, you know, you could be posting pictures with this new person online and 
totally let this other thing go. What is the Five of Swords? What is the Five of Swords? Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be happy. You will be happy. You have a very deep soul connection here with this person coming in. And again, for some of you, the way this is looking, this is already here. This person lives near you. They work near you or by, with you. Um, you know what I mean? This is like already lined up. You may have even passed this person possibly with four of cups kind of what I'm seeing. Like you have just never noticed them. You've never noticed that cup. Maybe they have noticed you more than once, but you've been kind of so blinded, you know, this way that, that you have not seen them or talked to them. Maybe, I feel like maybe you have even talked to this person possibly with what I'm seeing here. Definitely don't entertain the person from the past. Don't let them, you know, text you here and there. Don't, whatever. Just don't let them even, like make it very clear that it's over and you moved on and you're going to be happy. You will be happy. Okay. Um, anything we need to know, universe, angels, spirits, and guides with this, um, with this person, this reading. Okay, they're saying don't stop. And as I was shuffling, I was hearing, affirm your happiness. Say it out loud. Tell the universe, you know, you have new love, you're happy. You know, go for what makes you happy and make sure that you, again, yeah, take action. Don't stop. Focus on you. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.